Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Greetings, viewers all over the world. Charis Missionary Church presents Poland one on one session and conference with Apostle JB Makananisa and his son, Prophet Andres Simon. This will start from the 22nd of November 2019 until the 24th of November 2019. On the 22nd of November 2019, this will be a one on one session that will start from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And on the 23rd of November 2019, this will be a one-on-one -on -one session and also a conference. The one-on-one -on -one session will start from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. And the conference will start from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. The Sunday service of the 24th of November 2019 is yet to be announced. For more information where this will be held, you can follow the details of the venue that are appearing right now on your screen. Please note that for one-on-one -on -one session, registration is required. So you can contact the following numbers that are appearing right now on your screen. And I believe that the God of mercy indeed will touch you for the move of God is continuing. And the grace that has appeared to all men, I believe indeed it will touch you, deliver you, heal you, set you free wherever you are. And I believe this is your time to jubilate as we are coming to the end of this year of, ju of jubilee. Keep on watching Charis TV and be blessed. Amen. Actually, my name is Emmanuel Kosa. Um, my reason of visiting here, uh, I've been coming in connection with uh, each of the ministers. Um, actually, as a minister of God, you, you need to understand that for you to be able to function, you need to consider those who have been raised especially before you and with the fact that I've been here at Charis since 2012 June until that time when I went home but the transfer in 2016 <laughs> September <laughs> so my experience with Charis here yeah, obviously will keep calling me back mm -hmm. yes we've been seeing God's intervention remember um, as Apostle used to tell me about the ministry yes. um, after the, 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 the the planting of the ministry there I also came back to be with him and he imparted and released me to the ministry so obviously testimony has been there we've been seeing God's intervention God healing people God delivering people so but as a servant of God obviously you, will, you won't be satisfied you will keep coming for more you'll keep coming for more No, I'm feeling so good. I'm looking forward to go back home and doing the work of God. And, 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 and no, 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 I'm energized actually to face any challenge that can come. As much as I'm, I'm having the understanding that these challenges are there to build us, not to destroy. Um, as actually, my fellow ministers of God out there, what they need is just to, to have the grace of recognizing what God has given to, to his servant here and not allowing themselves to, to suffer with the work of God out there, but they have to come for impartation, so that when they are back to their places, they may be able to function. My sister, I want to pray for you. There's a spirit of disappointments that has been following you, and there's a demon of like a man. Huh? My sister. There's a demon when you sleep. Oh, you hear me? This demon comes and attacks you. There's a demon. Huh? Okay. This demon is the one that is locking up your life. Okay. When you sleep, there are people that try to feed you. Oh, you hear me? Yes. That's why I hear there are complications here in your stomach. 
It's true. Oh, you hear me? Hmm. That's why everything about you is like there's nothing good. Okay. Huh? So I want to pray for you because where you are is not where you're supposed to be. It's true. Oh, you understand what I'm, trying to, I'm trying, what I'm trying to tell you? Amen. Because there's so many plans that you've been having, but there's nothing that works out for you. Huh? Amen. Also on the issues of marriage. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Where is your husband? He's at home. Huh? He's at home. We need to pray for this issue of the marriage. Okay. The devil is fighting your house. It's true. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. I'll pray for you so that your house must stand. Amen. What are you doing here? No? Huh? <coughs> huh? <coughs> you are doing what? I want to block him. So you are the one who's making it to say, okay, okay. <coughs> huh? So you, you sleep with her in the night. You stupid demon. <coughs> Why are you helping so her? Why do you want to destroy a marriage? You don't want her to get married. You don't want her to get married? Yes. So I'm speaking with her, you're just making it to say, okay, okay. <coughs> huh? Because you don't want her to talk. We don't want her to talk? Yes. Hush. Are you people, you must pray. <laughs> So you don't want her to talk? Yes. You don't want her to talk? Yes. Huh? Yes. So you must leave her today, huh? <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> and you must leave her marriage. <gasps> In Jesus' name. <laughs> Come out, you demon. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Come out, you dirty spirit. Come on, you demon, come on. Come on, you demon. Leave that stomach, you demon. Um, my name is Portia Wulan Maluleke. I'm from Malamlele. Okay, the prophecy which I received today, um, the man of God says um, there's something that is blocking me and there's a man that is visiting me in the night and then um, he's the one that is causing um, blockage in my marriage and then he also asked of my husband. Then I said my husband is at home and then he says um, there's a spirit in me that is blocking uh, my marriage. And then I confirm uh, the prophecy to be true because um, we've been uh, planning to, to get married for some time. And then um, in 2015 years, he has done the, the Lobola procedure. And then um, as we speak, uh, about a month ago, <coughs> we bought drinks, but I'm um, just waiting for the blessing ceremony. So I don't know why it's not taking place. So I confirm it to be true. There's been challenges in my, in my marriage because I'm the only, let me say I'm the breadwinner. I'm the one taking care of my husband. So I'll just say like when um, Apostle Makananis was talking today, I felt like he was talking to me because I've been through challenges. Um, it's like I'm the one, I'm, I'm the husband and the wife, I'm, I'm the husband and the wife at the same time taking care of the house so I believe that today uh, it was my day and then God has had my prayers um, last night about last night I was feeling like I was having cramps in my stomach it's like my stomach was bloated and when I was sitting where I was sitting I was still I told my the lady that was sitting next to me that I feel like I want to go to the toilet my stomach is bloated and then she says normally when they pray they want to pray for you you might feel like you want to go to the toilet maybe it's a demon then I said I'm really pressed then I went to the toilet so when he was praying for me I just felt like something wanting to come out from me then I started to vomit yeah and then how are you feeling now 
um, I'm, I'm, I believe I'm, I'm, I'm delivered from whatever spirits that was, um, was attacking me because um, I, I feel very light and I feel like I am delivered. And I knew that today it was going to be my day because when I was coming, I was getting lost. And when I was asking people on the road, they were telling me they don't even know this church. Some of the guys, they were saying to me that they feel like where I'm going, it's a, they said, no, are you going to a Shebin? Because they've closed on Sundays. I said, no, I'm going to church. They said they don't know the name of the church. So I was surprised. So I knew that this is the works of the devil because uh, the devil doesn't want me to be delivered. So I am happy that I was located. It, is, it was uh, God's appointed time and it was the grace of God that I was delivered today. Thank you so much.